So my name is Dr James Galloway, I'm a rheumatologist at King's College London and I, I'm also one of the analysis leads for the National Early Inflammatory Arthritis Audit. I've just come from the quality improvement session, so it was the 9am first session at the start of the meeting and, um, and I presented some of the data around the National Audit. I, I started out by setting the scene about quality improvement, um, which and I'd encourage people to listen to uh, Joe Lennon's talk and, and also Peter Lanyon's talk from the same session really about the sort of the culture shift away from just episodic audit to continuous improvement. I, I presented some glimpse of, uh, of the data and, and some of the headlines were compared to a couple of years ago um, at the end of the last audit um, where we saw about 20% of GPs referring people in within three days, the NICE standard. We're now seeing over 40% coming in within a timely manner, so still a long way to go but huge improvement. The other quality standards I presented a glimpse at just at national level. So quality standard two, how quickly we see referrals in rheumatology and secondary care, um, still running about 20 to 25 percent. And, and, and so that's got a long way to go. And, and I think there's a lot of challenges ahead of us. But quality standard three, which is how quickly we start people on drugs, that was more optimistic. We're seeing approaching 60 percent of people started on a, on a disease modifying drug within six weeks after um, being referred with early inflammatory arthritis. Um, the, the other thing I, I talked about in the audit is obviously I'm showing a glimpse of the results today, but we've got the national report coming soon. So I presented also some of the data around how we'll be presenting information in the annual report. So how we're going to use different types of graph and particularly funnel plots and how to interpret those. And, um, and I, I think the, the final bit I touched on was about best practice tariff, um, which again I hope will be reiterated by, uh, by Joe Ledium if you listen to her, um, as an incentive for people to help engage in the audit and a financial reward for, for getting people enrolled. And, and as a final, just a, a quick favour to ask of people, the, the first year's data collection closed on the 8th of May, so that's the deadline to try and get as much information as you can and, and have the data all as accurate as possible by then.